But let us talk about the safe house. I have seen so many Ugandans talking about safe house, safe house, safe house. But what is the safe house? A safe house is a place used for protection or to seek refuge. In fact, most sane governments use this place or safe houses to protect witnesses from being harmed or hurt by criminals. Chovolaba, akagambo kali witness protection. Jikava. But what is a safe house in Uganda? A safe house in Uganda, it is a place used by people of authority to intimidate, to violate human rights, to torture innocent civilians, as well as pushing them or forcing them to accept responsibility of crimes they did not commit. Chain you on the, with the two cuffs on the hands, and then they tether with the chain, the legs, and then they, they, they pass this chain around your side that the, the maximum you can see is like this. You have to be squatting like this. And if you eat, you have to fall down on your sides. This is why you see these black spots here. You, you have to squat it looks like a dog. You cannot sit, you cannot stand. And I spent 72 days in that posture of torture. And this is why you see these black spots here. You have to lie down on the ground and eat like a dog. Ah, gamit ya basija baka ula. Bia sanga musifa usi singila batu kano kumusiba mainja. Kubitundi vicha mando kusuru waliro. Tatiri ranga. Badi ya mainja asa tulika mkaveira. Na asuwa mbua atila mkazito. Ina nyambu lembu yuzo nina. Ina unikunje gine, unikunje gine. Na asuwa kubusaji. Chovola ba. Nzi seo unyiza. Oba seo unya. When members of parliament. We are being so considerate never pushing a general editor winner asking him to go visit these places ladies and gentlemen they will elongate this until they clean up everything and then someday they will show them to you because they have used these places to butcher people However, when someone stood on TV they have taken him to CPS. The truth is, Mama Wangi, Jebatu Tebao, Nayo Wario Tocha Chambers. There was, there were many, one would come and go, but the, the ones I knew was Bekunda, who was previously handling this matter. Then they. And Did they mask themselves? Or no, they would don't. just come in? They would just come here. I said, We want 500 million. Tell your wife to bring the money, or else you'll never see sunshine again. And the case is in court of law. So I will stop there. And Bekunda, Mohanji himself, who would be supervising the torture. Mohanji was aware. Yes, he was aware. And the torture room is just across opposite him, his office. So where can innocent civilians run for protection? When people who came as liberators turned into intimidators and torturers and violators of human rights, where can innocent civilians run? Chovolaba, nzene unya nyoba na Uganda. Abe surira yoba na gamba. They see videos like this and they just scroll simply because they didn't make a gamoi. Let me remind you, when Nagirinya woke up to go to work, she never expected being kidnapped and butchered. <laughs> when a young kid who was recently murdered woke up, but guess what? When they killed him, these people said, And we are coming back. We are in a country where people are leaving letters that we are coming in Imbali 
to murder people. And guess what? They do it. And then later, people like Tomwine come out and say that we are in a safe place. Ladies and gentlemen, Uganda that when Eddie Kenzo posted one post like this talking about his relationship 4,000 commenters appeared in one hour if you check it right now it is in 31,000 comments when you talk about Teddy Wujingo and Pastor Wujingo Ugandans will rush those same Ugandans who keep rushing about Teddy Wajingo are the same Ugandans they kidnap sometimes. Let me use the word sometimes. But when they kidnap you, I will stand here, come up like I am doing right now, and beg for your mercy because the government won't. And talk about this because the government won't accept responsibility. So ladies and gentlemen, I am not asking you to betray your personal lives. I am reminding you that no matter what you do, no matter how many times you choose to distance yourself from these kinds of atrocities, you will always be a Ugandan. Because let us be serious. I have every right to accept and believe that the president of the nation is not in control of Uganda. I have every right to accept that we have President Tomwine, President Otafire, President Sam Kutesa, President Mohozi, and recently the newly nominated torturer, President Kaka. So distance yourself, run away, do not share messages like this to convince people who still think Ntibani Mo Comfort is on. That no, 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 no. Your children will be tortured, your children will be kidnapped. They do not care if the kid is just five years old, if it, the kid is 25 years old, if it is your wife or your son or your son in law, they will kidnap them and torture them. <laughs> they don't care if they shoot down your mother or your father, they will shoot them down. You know why? Because they know they are safe. So do you know who is supposed to fight for you? You. You, the Ugandan. I agree that not all of us will come up to speak about these issues. But do your job. Spread the message. But what are you not courage sharing a video with it? You will never have a courage of standing in a line and vote President Museveni out. Because as we approach voting, people of guns will come out. Tiptoeing, You will see members, gazette all them roundabouts, to intimidate you to a But what are you doing about it as a Ugandan? Keep spreading the message. My name is Fahad Amir Soga. No one has forced me to say this. 
I am in my sober mind. No politician has forced me to say this. No political party has forced me to say this. This is a man with an independent mind. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. That, yes, I went through hell and yet I was kept um, under that illegal detention on a uh, on a very minimal uh, for a very minimal period as compared to the ugandans that are detained for years so other than centering on my fate let us center ourselves on the fate of those people that have come crying to this committee whose cases are even still bleeding right now so i beg madam chair that we don't be diverted by my case but let us focus on the cases of ugandans that are ongoing right now